Hello, my name is Tim Lopez from Teen Tiger TV, and today I'm speaking with Jackie uh, from the Friends of Wallingford Animal Shelter. Thank you for joining me today at the WPA TV studio. Thank you for having me. In what ways does the Friends of Wallingford Animal Shelter improve the lives of animals? So we improve the lives of the animals while they're at the shelter um, by uh, a cat socialization program. We bring volunteers in and they um, play with the cats um, during the day. We have that program five days a week. We also have a dog walking program. And of recent, we started a program called the Rescue Readers Program where children through adults come in and they read to the pets. We use that opportunity also to teach the children about, um, about animals, give them a better understanding about the behaviors of animals and um, while they're there reading to the, to the pets during the course of the hour. That program runs every other week on a Monday afternoon from 4.30 to 5.30. You said that one way the Friends of Wallingford Animal Shelter works to improve the lives of animals is through education. Can you expand on the ways in which this is done? Yes. Uh, one of the other things that we offer, um, that we offered as, as of our inception um, as a nonprofit, is to microchip all the animals at the shelter. Um, studies show that animals that are microchipped and go missing have a better chance of being found. So what we do is our organization pays to have the animal microchipped. We um, teach the adopter um, about making sure that they register the animal in their name in the event that the animal goes missing. Um, there's an opportunity for the animal to be returned to them if it's found. We understand you're having a big celebration soon. Can you tell us a little more about that, such as the purpose of the celebration and what can those who attend can expect? Sure. So on Saturday, September the 10th, between the hours of 12 and 3, we're holding our first, our first birthday party for the Friends of the Wallingford Animal Shelter. We're doing that in conjunction with the director of the shelter, who's actually been at the shelter about a year now himself. He's taking the opportunity to have an open house, to bring the public in, to let them see the inside of the shelter. Um, to see the physical environment of the shelter and how the animals are cared for. So during the course of the three-hour celebration, we're going to be having uh, face painting for the kids. We're going to be having games and crafts for them. We're also going to have live music. We're um, going to have a birthday cake and the ice cream truck is going to be there. We're also using the opportunity, again, to promote education. Um, there's going to be uh, not only the tour of the shelter, as I mentioned, we're also uh, opening up the um, animal control van so everybody can see what that looks like inside. And we're also going to educate the public on uh, animal preventative care, why it's important to take your, your dog or cat to the vet. Also about common illnesses that you find in animals um, that can be at the shelter. One of them, for instance, is FIV. And we want to let the public know there's a stigma around FIV with cats that people think that FIV cats cannot be with non-FIV cats, and that is not the case. Um, there is a way that FIV cats can be adopted and uh, live a life outside of the shelter. Are you taking this as an opportunity to recognize anyone in particular? We are, actually. So uh, we are taking the opportunity at our birthday celebration to thank all of our partners, our great partners, over the past year. Um, some of them have been large businesses as large as Amazon, who help support us through our bottle and can drive. Uh, on a weekly basis, they move a large amount of bottles and cans to the Redemption Center for us. That's one way we raise funds. Uh, we've also had fundraisers throughout the course of the year um, with small businesses. For instance, Capture Photography did a fundraising event for us last year where they did portraits of dogs and cats, and we were able to raise funds that way. Uh, restaurants in the community have done restaurant givebacks over the course of the last several months. We've had an artist do a paint night for us. Um, we'll be recognizing her as well. Um, and then a few other um, a few other of our partners we're going to uh, promote. Um, I also want to take the opportunity to mention, too, that we have a couple of great surprises that are going to be coming up at um, our celebration that I don't want to reveal, but I really encourage the public to attend to see those, to see those unveilings of, of some great things at the shelter. It's been wonderful learning about your organization. Thank you again for joining me today. Thank you for having me.
I'm Tim Lopez, and this has been Teen Tiger TV.